In this video, I'll be sharing the top seven things I wish I would have known before studying architecture. The first thing is do not procrastinate. At the start of every project, I would get overwhelmed and I'd feel lost. I do the obvious steps like site analysis, brief analysis, and precedence. But when I got to designing and developing concepts, I froze. I just could not come up with anything. And I wish someone told me that this feeling is normal. It is a feeling that every architect has felt at the start of their earlier projects or their careers. And after five years of studying architecture, I finally learned that I am a perfectionist. And I procrastinated because I didn't know whether I could complete the task to a high standard. But now I'm training myself to look at each project as an opportunity to grow and enhance my design skills. I'm gonna let go of this doubt and embrace the uncertainty in designing. You have a long journey ahead of you to perfect your craft, but for now, enjoy it because you will not have this creative freedom while you're in practice. This video is sponsored by Skillshare, who is a longtime supporter for the channel. Skillshare is the best website to learn different skills in different fields or hone in on your own experiences. There's a huge range of classes for art and design, such as this one, exploring botanical illustrations with Sarah Boccaccini. And if you scroll down, you can see all of the reviews of the course from students, as well as any class materials or student project. You can find almost any Anything you search for such as logo design or photography and you can see the range of classes just for logo design which is pretty awesome. This one is a great class by Justin Bridges which is the fundamentals of DSLR photography which goes into depth into the art of taking images. And the best part is Skillshare is really affordable as the annual subscription is less than $10 a month but you can also get a free trial to use Skillshare using the link in the description only available to the first 1000 to click the link. So check it out and let me know which classes are you going to watch. I wish I modeled more. From the beginning of my studies, I loved sketching. It was quick, easy, and most importantly, it was free. I didn't model a lot because I wasn't good at it. It requires a lot of materials and those materials cost an arm and a leg. But I wish I knew that making models is a skill, the same as sketching. Your first models won't be perfect but you must and you should keep practicing. But also, physical models are important, but so is 3D models on SketchUp or Revit or any software you use. Because 3D models are a necessity for designing because you need to be able to visualize all four elevations together for exterior design, but also for interior design and looking at the journey to spaces, proportions, materials, lighting, and etc. I wish I defended my work. I remember in my earliest presentations, lecturers would critique my work or even just ask questions and I wouldn't say anything because I thought I wasn't supposed to or that I might offend anyone. But now, even if I do defend my project, they'll still have something to criticize because projects can never be perfect and there's always room for improvement. So don't be afraid to strongly defend your work and argue your points constructively at critiques. Balance all aspects of the design. There's never enough time for enough research to be done and in the past i've been guilty of investing 60 to 75 percent of my time on research and precedence leaving little time to pursue the design and successfully expressing it and don't get me wrong i love research and i love precedence and there's nothing wrong with doing a lot of research in fact it helps you design better but there has to be a balance of research and actual design work so when i was in school the top question my classmates and i would always ask each other was what is is your concept but i've learned that a great design works spatially aesthetically and with attention to the program there's nothing wrong with wanting to use your work to communicate something above the program but don't get lost in the concept here's some general advice get yourself a coffee machine i bought these delicious cappuccinos they taste just like coffee shop cappuccinos they don't cost as much don't delay your work because, trust me, it starts to build up from the first week. Don't forget to give yourself at least one day, one full day a week to stop and rest. Don't rely entirely on a school to do your learning. I know it doesn't make too much sense because you are paying them so much money, but school should be a supplemental learning experience. You should research while you're not in school, read books, talk to professionals, and try to seek answers that follow your intrigue in architecture. 
And lastly, I know that architecture is not for everyone, so if you are seriously struggling, then speak to someone and ask for advice. Your mental health is so important, it's as important as your physical health. You can always reach out to me or comment down below, we have a very strong community here and we will support you. And that is all for today's video, let me know your advice to anyone that is studying architecture in the comments down below. And don't forget that now you can book a call with me on Superpeer if you have any questions or if you would like any feedback or help on your project you can also find additional services on my fiverr page which will all be linked in the description box don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you've not already i'm rasha shiruru and i will see you next time